the 42nd running of the Daytona 500. Most of the race was led by Dale Jarrett trying to defend his two Daytona 500 titles and a championship he won back in 1999. Most of the race was single file racing and not many passing opportunities. And in the end, there were nine lead changes between Dale Jarrett and Mark Martin. Dale Jarrett led 85 laps, and Mark Martin led 65 laps. That's the game plan. Terrell, I just talked to top pair of crew chief for Dale Jarrett. I said, what are you going to do when you have Mark Martin disappear and you get hugged out by yourself? Are you going to try to hook up with Rusty? He says, nah, we're just going to try to stay out there by ourselves and hope we can get it done. 105 laps complete. Mark Martin in the lead. And CBS Sports coverage of the Daytona. 2003 Daytona 500. Besides the flip from Ryan Newman on lap 56, this was still a pretty boring one. Still, we had three red racing, which made more, which made racing more spectacular at Daytona, but having an attendance of 200,000 people. But on lap 109, two hours in, there was a caution for rain. They had to make the cars stop racing for a while. Michael Walter was finally declared the winner after lap 109. By having his second Daytona 500 win in his career. The 2013 Daytona 500, the first race of the new Gen 6 car, which has been released in January, finally, finally released some brand new racing no one's seen before. Plus a new body. Most of the race has been dominated by two Joe Gibbs cars, Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth. Kenseth got caught up in a wreck. Also, we and also we saw the first woman lead the Daytona 500, Danica Patrick. And, but in the end, Jimmy Johnson took the win for his second Daytona 500 win. Now, putting this on this list might anger some people. This is the closest Daytona 500 finish in the history of the race, with 0.10, se with 0.10 seconds separating first place and second place car. Dominant run from Denny Ham from Denny Hamlin all the way down to the last lap being chased up by Martin Truex Jr.
The race had 20 lead changes and also an underdog finish by Regan Smith for Tommy Baldwin Racing. Finishing 6th or something like that. I don't know. I have to check. It's Chevy Truck Month. Get to your Chevy dealer. Take home the 2016 Silverado 1500 from the fastest growing pickup brand. Chevrolet. Find new roads. 72 laps complete and a Chevrolet in front. That is Jimmy Johnson. He broke the log jam at the front that saw Denny Hamlin uh, shuffled back right now to sixth place. Now, Stuart Haas Racing uh, has had Kurt Busch up there in the top 10. Kevin Harvick currently 13th. Danica Patrick 20th. And recovering from that spin is Brian Vickers back in the field. Tony Stewart joins us. Once again, has been watching his team intently. There is their running order. Hey, Tony, great to have you on. Uh, what are you seeing? In the lap. Here comes that outside line. They got a lot of, lot of push in the outside. They got the push. Now NASCAR has told the teams as Mark Martin takes the lead. That at lap 25, they will throw a competition yellow due to the rains this morning so that the teams can check chassis and check tire wear. And what's interesting about that competition caution is to keep someone from maybe pitting before that and not pitting on lap 25, you cannot fuel the car until that lap 25. That's Robbie Gordon in the seven, and Casey Mears, who is new to the black 07, coming up the inside. 50-year-old Mark Martin trying to win the Daytona 500 for his first time in more than 25 trips. He's the leader of lap two. We call him Wild Thing, and if you've seen this young fella race, you'll know why. He nearly won the truck race Friday night. He nearly won the nationwide race yesterday.